From their humble beginnings as crude, hand-thrown explosives to today's sophisticated devices, grenades have evolved significantly to meet the demands of 21st century warfare. Let's delve into the versatile role of grenades in modern military operations, their intricate manufacturing process, and the ongoing advancements in grenade technology. Grenades, a versatile tool in military operations. In modern military operations, grenades are much more than just explosives. They are tactical tools that can be adapted for a range of purposes, whether they're used to neutralize enemies, obscure visibility, create diversions, or provide signals. Grenades offer the military a way to achieve multiple objectives with minimal equipment. For this reason, weapon manufacturers are tasked with producing millions of grenades each year to meet the needs of armed forces globally. This widespread demand for grenades speaks to their vital role on the battlefield. With that comes a critical responsibility for manufacturers, ensuring that each grenade produced is not only functional, but also safe for the soldier handling it. The production process is, therefore, a combination of precision engineering, rigorous safety standards, and quality control protocols. The anatomy of a grenade, understanding the components. At their core, grenades are relatively simple devices consisting of three main components, a casing, an explosive charge, and a detonating mechanism. Despite their straightforward design, each of these components plays a crucial role in the grenade's overall functionality and effectiveness. The casing, usually made from metal or composite materials, serves two main purposes, housing the explosive material and fragmenting upon detonation to increase lethality. Modern grenade casings are designed with precision to ensure that they fragment in a way that maximizes damage while minimizing the risk to the user. Typically, the casing shatters into high-velocity fragments that scatter across a wide area, making grenades particularly effective in clearing enemy forces from enclosed spaces or open battlefields. The explosive charge is the core of the grenade, providing the destructive force necessary for it to fulfill its function. Depending on the type of grenade, the explosive material might vary. In fragmentation grenades, the charge is designed to create an explosion that propels the casing's fragments outward. In smoke grenades, the charge might be a chemical compound that generates a dense smoke cloud upon ignition. Finally, the detonating mechanism, often a simple pin and fusee system, is what triggers the explosion by removing the pin and releasing the lever. Also known as the spoon, the fuse is ignited, which then burns down to the explosive charge, causing detonation. This system is designed for reliability and ease of use, even under stressful battlefield conditions. The evolution of grenade design, while the basic concept of a grenade has remained largely unchanged for centuries, the design and functionality have evolved considerably. Early Grenades, which date back to medieval times, were crude, hand-thrown devices filled with gunpowder. These early versions often lacked precision and safety features, making them unreliable and dangerous for the user. However, as military technology advanced, so did the sophistication of grenades. One of the most significant developments in grenade design was the introduction of the fragmentation grenade. These grenades featured a metal casing specifically designed to break apart into numerous fragments upon detonation, significantly increasing the grenade's effectiveness in causing damage over a larger area. Modern fragmentation grenades have been refined to maximize efficiency and safety. They are now equipped with more advanced fuses which provide greater control over the timing of the explosion, ensuring that the grenade detonates at the optimal moment. Smoke grenades represent another evolution in grenade technology. 
These grenades are designed to create a thick cloud of smoke that can be used to obscure visibility, provide cover for movement, or signal for assistance. Unlike fragmentation grenades, smoke grenades use chemical agents rather than explosive charges. Upon ignition, these chemicals rapidly generate smoke, making smoke grenades invaluable in both urban warfare and field operations where visibility control is critical. Flashbang grenades, also known as stun grenades, are another example of how grenade technology has adapted to modern combat needs. Designed to temporarily disoriented and incapacitate targets, flashbang grenades emit a blinding flash of light and a deafening sound when detonated. The goal is not to cause physical harm, but to disrupt the enemy's senses, giving soldiers a tactical advantage. These grenades are often used in close quarters combat or hostage rescue operations where non-lethal force is preferred. Manufacturing grenades, materials, processes, and precision. The mass production of grenades is an intricate process that involves careful selection of materials, precise engineering, and strict quality control. Grenades are produced using a variety of metals and chemical compounds, each chosen for its specific role in ensuring that the grenade is reliable, safe, and effective in combat. Materials used in grenade manufacturing. Steel is one of the most common materials used for grenade casings, particularly for fragmentation grenades. Steel is chosen for its durability and tensile strength, which allows the casing to fragment effectively upon detonation. The high density of steel also aids in creating a robust fragmentation effect as the metal shrapnel travels farther and with greater force, increasing the grenade's lethality. However, steel is relatively heavy, which can be a drawback in certain tactical situations where portability is crucial. Aluminum is another metal frequently used in grenade manufacturing, particularly for smoke grenades and flashbangs. Aluminum is lighter than steel, making grenades easier to carry and handle. Despite being less dense, aluminum can still be engineered to provide sufficient fragmentation effects when needed. Additionally, aluminum is highly resistant to corrosion, making it ideal for use in various environmental conditions. This corrosion resistance ensures that the grenades remain functional even when exposed to moisture, extreme temperatures, or other harsh elements. Beyond the outer casing, the choice of explosive materials is equally critical. The explosive compounds used in grenades are typically high-energy materials capable of producing a powerful blast. Common compounds include trinitrotoluene, TNT, Research Department Explosive, RDX, and Composition B, a mixture of TNT and RDX. These explosives are selected for their stability explosive power, and ease of handling. TNT, for instance, has long been a staple in explosive devices due to its stability and predictable detonation properties. It provides a reliable explosive yield and has been used in military applications for decades. RDX, on the other hand, offers a higher explosive power than TNT and is often combined with TNT in composition B to enhance the grenade's overall effectiveness. This combination strikes a balance between power and stability, making Composition B a versatile choice for various grenade types. The manufacturing process, from raw materials to finished product. The journey from raw materials to a fully functional grenade is a complex process that requires both human precision and advanced machinery. The first step in grenade production is casting the grenade body, typically from steel or aluminum. This involves heating the metal to a molten state and pouring it into molds designed to give the grenade its shape. Once the metal cools and hardens, the casings are removed from the molds and inspected for any imperfections. This inspection is crucial because even small flaws in the casing could affect the grenade's performance or safety. After the casings are cast and inspected, they move to the assembly line where they are fitted with their explosive charges. This step is particularly sensitive, 
as handling explosives requires extreme care to prevent accidental detonation. Automated systems are often used to measure and dispense the exact amount of explosive material needed for each grenade. This automation ensures consistency across the thousands of units produced, minimizing the risk of human error and ensuring that each grenade performs as expected. Once the explosive charge is loaded into the grenade, the next step is to attach the fuse mechanism. The fuse is a critical component that controls the timing of the explosion, and its assembly requires precision. A poorly assembled fuse could result in premature detonation, delayed detonation, or failure to detonate at all, any of which could have catastrophic consequences in a combat situation. Throughout the manufacturing process, a balance is maintained between automated machinery and human oversight. While machines handle repetitive and precise tasks, skilled technicians are responsible for inspecting the grenades at various stages of production. This ensures that any potential defects are caught and addressed before the grenades reach the field. The Challenges of Mass Production The sheer scale of grenade production is both impressive and demanding. Manufacturing facilities must be capable of producing millions of grenades each year to meet global military demands. This requires a high level of efficiency in the production process, with production lines operating continuously to maximize output. However, mass production is not without its challenges. The need for efficiency must be balanced with strict safety and quality standards. Raw materials must be sourced from reliable suppliers who adhere to stringent quality control measures, and any delays in the supply chain can impact the entire production process. Additionally, facilities must implement rigorous safety protocols to protect workers and prevent accidental detonations during production. Efficient production also involves careful management of time and resources. Manufacturers must anticipate demand and adjust production schedules accordingly to avoid shortages or surpluses. This requires close coordination between the manufacturers, their suppliers, and the military agencies that rely on their products. Safety and quality assurance in grenade manufacturing. Given the destructive power of grenades, safety is a top priority throughout the production process. Every grenade produced undergoes a series of rigorous tests to ensure that it functions correctly and safely. These tests are designed to simulate real-world conditions and identify any potential weaknesses in the grenade's design or materials. One of the most important tests is the pressure test, which exposes grenades to pressures that exceed their typical operational limits. This helps manufacturers identify any structural weaknesses in the casing or internal components that could lead to failure under normal use. Grenades are also subjected to impact tests, which simulate rough handling or accidental drops to ensure that they do not detonate prematurely. In addition to mechanical tests, live detonations are performed on a select sample of grenades to evaluate their performance under combat conditions. These tests take place in controlled environments where the effects of the grenade can be measured and analyzed. This data is used to refine the design and improve future production runs. Shipping and distribution. Safely delivering grenades to the front lines. Once grenades have passed all safety and quality tests, they are packaged for shipment to military units around the world. The transportation of grenades is a delicate process that requires adherence to strict safety protocols. As classified dangerous goods, grenades must be handled with care to prevent accidents during transit. Grenades are typically transported in specialized containers designed to absorb shock and prevent accidental detonation. These containers are sealed and secured with clear labeling indicating the contents and the potential hazards. Whether grenades are shipped by air, sea, or land, security is paramount to prevent theft or misuse. In many cases, grenades are transported to military bases or distribution centers before being deployed to the front lines. At each stage of the shipping process, security measures are in place to ensure that the grenades remain safe and accounted for. This includes tracking systems 
that allow military units to monitor the location and condition of their shipments in real time. Supply chain management, ensuring a steady flow of grenades. Maintaining a reliable supply of grenades is essential for modern military forces. This requires careful management of the supply chain, from raw material suppliers to the final delivery of finished grenades. Manufacturers must work closely with suppliers to ensure that they have access to the metals, chemicals, and components needed for production. Any disruptions in the supply chain, whether due to material shortages, transportation delays, or political instability, can have a ripple effect, impacting the military's ability to equip its forces. As such, manufacturers must have contingency plans in place to address potential disruptions and ensure a steady flow of grenades to the battlefield. The future of grenade technology. What's next? As military technology continues to advance, so too will the design and functionality of grenades. Researchers and engineers are constantly exploring new materials, explosives, and delivery systems that could make grenades even more effective and versatile in combat situations. One area of development is the use of smart technology in grenades. Smart grenades would be capable of adjusting their detonation timing or fragmentation patterns based on environmental factors or input from the user. This would allow soldiers to tailor their grenades to specific combat scenarios, increasing their effectiveness and reducing collateral damage. Another potential advancement is the use of non-lethal grenades for crowd control and peacekeeping missions. These grenades would be designed to incapacitate rather than kill, using technologies like sound, light, or electrical pulses to disorient and subdue targets without causing permanent harm. As warfare evolves, so will the role of grenades on the battlefield, whether through improved lethality, enhanced safety features, or new tactical applications, grenades will continue to be a vital tool for military forces worldwide. Grenades have come a long way from their humble origins as simple hand-thrown explosives. Today, they are sophisticated devices engineered for maximum efficiency, safety, and adaptability. The ability to produce millions of grenades annually is a testament to the advanced manufacturing techniques and precise engineering that go into their creation. From the choice of materials to the final assembly, every step of the process is designed to ensure that grenades meet the rigorous demands of modern warfare. As military needs continue to evolve, the future of grenade technology promises even greater advancements, ensuring that these powerful tools remain at the forefront of tactical and combat strategies. Whether they're used to clear a battlefield, provide cover, or incapacitate an enemy, grenades will remain a key asset in the arsenal of modern military forces for years to come. As military technology continues to advance, grenades will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the future of warfare. From improved lethality and enhanced safety features to the exploration of non-lethal options, grenades will continue to adapt to the changing demands of the battlefield. With their versatility, effectiveness, and ongoing development, grenades will remain a cornerstone of modern military arsenals, ensuring that soldiers have the tools they need to accomplish their missions with precision and efficiency. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.